In this video, we solve our installation headaches by clean booting into Windows. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. In this tutorial, we will perform a clean boot into Windows, which is neither a regular boot nor a safe mode boot, but somewhere in between, loading minimal resources at startup, allowing us to work with a largely clean slate. This method proved useful recently when installing a copy of Norton 360 which steadfastly refused under normal conditions. This method needs to be performed from an administrator account. To check our account type, we click the start button, moving the mouse over our account picture and right clicking for a menu, from which we select the option to change account settings. At the account settings dialog, we can see the status of our account. If we are an administrator, we are good to go, otherwise we need to change to an administrator account or set up a new one. With administrator status confirmed, we return to the desktop, again clicking the start button and typing msconfig to search for the system configuration app, which we run as an administrator. We arrive at the default general tab and immediately move to services. Ticks in the leftmost column indicate that the service is active. We are going to disable any non-Microsoft service and we do this by firstly clicking to hide all Microsoft services. We are now left with a list purely containing third party offerings. As we are running a relatively new virtual machine with minimal services, your list may look very different from ours and every installation will be distinct. We click disable all with the absence of ticks indicating that all are indeed disabled. We now move to the startup tab where we click open task manager. As before, your entries here may be different and your list may well be more heavily populated than ours. The aim is to disable every item currently enabled. Unlike the previous dialog, these entries need to be selected individually, after which we right click for a menu and select the option to disable. In this instance, AV launch will not disable, although this is an exception rather than the norm. We therefore move on, repeating the process for all remaining items. Again, you may have many more items than us and they will differ in type and quantity with each installation. No matter what you encounter, the aim is to try to disable it. We will be re-enabling later in the tutorial. With as many items as possible disabled, we click to close. We are returned to the config dialog where we click OK. At this stage we need to restart after ensuring that any open documents have been saved. The machine restarts and we are logged in and returned to the desktop. At this point we are running with minimal services and startup items. This is the point at which any troublesome installations should be retried to take advantage of the reduced possibility of conflict in the clean boot state. Our non-installing Norton 360 installed without issue in this environment. With any troublesome software installation complete, it's now time to reverse the changes. We click for the start menu, searching again for msconfig and running as administrator. We move from the default general tab to services, where once again, hiding all Microsoft services reveals only those third party services we previously disabled. We click to enable all and all services are once again enabled. We now move to the startup tab and click on the link to open task manager. We now need to re-enable the tasks previously disabled by selecting, right clicking for a menu and choosing the option to enable, then simply repeat for all disabled items. With all tasks enabled, we click to close. We are returned to the main dialog where we again click OK. As before, we need to restart in order for our changes to take effect and we therefore save any open documents before clicking restart. In the event that your issue is not resolved or conflicts still remain, it may be wise to selectively re-enable services to determine which is the cause of the conflict. With the troublesome service identified, you can look to update or replace it where possible. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.